but I've got my high school sweatshirt. I brought my mom from Plano Senior High and my, and my high school memory book, which has a lot of uh, interesting memories. Congratulations on this. I thought you were so excellent, not only in it as an actress, but also as executive producer. I don't know what you were most nervous about, but I would imagine that those nerves were, were quickly uh, calmed. What was the most nerve wracking thing about this, taking on kind of two roles here? I mean, I think it wasn't even taking on two roles. It was more so the emotional weight of Grace as a character. Um, I really was trying. <laughs> it's, it's daunting to walk into a scenario where I'm playing a girl who's grieving and going through very dark emotions and, and trying to get that right and trying to feel like, you know, she's a character who... She, she draws Henry in for a reason, you know, there has to, she can't just be uh, so unappealing, you know, there's got to be some mystery, some, some, some intrigue to her, even though she's, she's kind of this darkness. So it was, it was kind of finding a balance of making sure you knew she was going through some, some trauma, obviously, but not making her a bitch, basically. Well, and not only that, not overcoming it within two days, which sometimes these films do. And I thought you did such a great job of making that so authentic. Austin's character does everything he can to try to get your character to open up. If we met, if we met out somewhere and I, and I want to get you to open up to me, someone you just met, what's the subject that's an easy one? What do you love talking about? Oh, man. Why do I love talking? I love talking. I mean, I just, I like talking about real thing i like talking about yeah. emotion i'm a very emotional human being like if if someone opens up to me i'll open up to them i am usually kind of closed off to people i first meet just out of protection for myself i'm not i'm not an open book walking around with my heart on my sleeve for everyone but my close friends and family my heart's definitely on my sleeve but i i think i uh <laughs> oh there's my dog oh. Oh, how's he doing? He's doing good, but I'm like, <laughs> Milo. I think we were worried about him. I know he's doing good. Um, if you want to get to know me, you 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 have to be open with me. You know, it actually leads to my next question. One of the great scenes in this, there's a scene with you and Austin in the library where you talk about what it's like being a teen and subjects that need to be addressed. How do you balance needing to talk about things, but being who you are, where people kind of expect and hope you to always open up? How hard is that balance? It's hard. I think I have found, I have understood the importance of um, my friends, my close, true, best friends in the world. I have three best friends who mean the absolute world to me, who I can talk to, who I can talk to for hours about things and they'll never tell me to shut up. You know, it's like people <laughs> constantly validate my feelings. I think it's, that's what I've learned is, you know, it's easy to kind of go to social media and want to like complain or, or be angry. And a lot of times I do do that. I definitely do. I'm very outspoken <laughs> on social media and say things that probably shouldn't be taken to social media sometimes. But I think I, very much find comfort, the most comfort in, in talking to my, my close people. Well, I, I applaud you for being authentic. Have they seen the film, your friends, your closest? My, yeah, they have. And we're yeah. seeing it again this Friday at um, a drive-in in LA. So, yeah. Well, we've got the drive-in here in Glendale also showing it. So I appreciate you including Arizona. I know they just wrapped me. What's the most remarkable thing that's happened to you in this quarantine state? Just, uh, man, just gr growing, growing. I feel like I'm growing a lot as a human being. I'm spending a lot of time uh, working on myself and my spirit and kind of just reading self-help books and trying to yep. be a better, more connected to myself human being. And I think I'm doing well. I think you're doing great. And you and I are doing the exact same thing. So kudos good. to us. Yes, good job. That's what we should be doing. <laughs> Congratulations on this. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. This has pretty much brought me back to high school minus some of the uh, guy drama. Did this really mirror what you went through? I read that this was very similar. 
Yeah, in, in in a lot of in a lot of kind of superficial ways, and a lot of, a lot of the superficial <laughs> contours. Like I was the editor in chief of my high school paper. I did have a, a sort of push pull, uh, you know, roller coaster of emotions with someone that I was infatuated with, and and it was sort of returned, but not really. And I was not in high school, but some you know years later, in a very bad car accident. Um, oh so, my gosh! So so it it there was a lot for me to pull from. Um, but I think on a deeper level, it, it, it was, it was the looking at being young through a lens of pain and, and, and grief and tragedy and heartbreak that I could relate to because, uh, look, I, I look back at high school and I had some good times, but it wasn't, it wasn't the cheery poppy, you know, um, romantic uh, uh, interlude that that a lot of movies represent. Yeah, you managed to avoid all my pet peeves about films like this. What I can't stand sometimes is when things are rushed or this really overly witty dialogue that you know the character would not say. And this to me seems so real and the pacing of things, you know, she's been through a lot, but she's not gonna get over it in two days and all of a sudden they're gonna, I just, the pacing, how, how hard is that as a director to time and make that authentic? Well, I really appreciate you saying that. It was something that we worked really hard to achieve. Uh, from the beginning, I was, you know, one of the mission statements was we're going to let these characters breathe. Um, we're going to try to shoot this in predominantly long takes to um, give a sense of immersion and awkward pacing. Um, you know, the teenage years are uh, uh, not exactly your most articulate years. Grace happens <laughs> to be very, very, uh, very smart and beyond her, her years. But, um, but Henry's main issue is that he has 